What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're opening up the new Yu-Gi-Oh! product that just dropped, Speed Duel, Attack from the Deep. Um, so, quick shout out to kind of like where I purchased this from. A lot of people ask, you know, where I kind of pick up my product. And when it comes to getting like new sets, um, a lot of places like they'll they'll kind of like ship it out on release date. Uh, but this place, which is an eBay store called Sports and More, uh, I'll, put, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm highly recommend them. Um, they're one of the few ones that will actually get you the product. So actually, at the time of filming, this is the day before release, and the video will come out on the day of release. Um, but yeah, not many not many vendors will get can manage to do that and not that i don't think the sports more will always manage to accomplish that um but this is the only one that has whereas most other ones again they kind of send it out on release date and then you have to wait the, the time shipping um so you know definitely the best way to do it is from your local game store your lgs to pick up the newest products to get it on release day uh but when it comes to if you're trying to figure out online vendors which ones go uh link link down below for sports more's ebay store they usually in they usually have some kind of flash sale for all the the new sets you can kind of like pre-order stuff um and you'll get it really in a really timely fashion uh so that that's one of the go-to's for buying product online uh so just for for anyone that wasn't aware of that or you're looking for a new way to obtain especially i think they're particularly good at pre pre-orders they have really good prices um and then then even like after the fact that you know they still they're still very competitive um all right so we are doing the new set attack from the deep uh, i'm not too crazy about speed duel i like the idea i'm hope waiting for the format the game to still continue to evolve before i go too deep into or go too hard into this uh, the sets. Um, let's see what we have. We have fusion recovery. So what is this? Descartes target from the graveyard and one monster graveyard. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ready for interest. This card, I drew this card in a different set not too long ago. Because I, I kept commenting he was like a barrel. Mystic Elf. That's a very classic from Yu starter deck Yugi, I believe. Ooh, Dust Tornado. This is um Pharaoh Servant card, I believe. Basically, it's a trap card that is kind of like Mystical Space. Everyone. It's very similar, actually, just a trap. Basically, gets rid of it. And this is actually one of the better cards. Uh, so one thing about these Speed Duel packs, I, I'm assuming it's the same as the Marine Lost Souls, is that you're not even guaranteed a rare, let alone a hollow. So that's a very cool pickup right there, right off the bat. Very solid pull. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, um, you know, show some love. We're, we're opening this on release day. Actually, technically, we're opening it before release day. Um, but actually, maybe I'll try to see if I can get this video out tonight. Um, but yeah, show some love. Hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, uh, definitely hit that sub button as well. We do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content as well as, ma uh, as, well as Pokemon. Here's a Magic Gathering as well. So let's say we have a Pyramid of Wonders. So this is what I mean that this is not a rare. This is just a common. And so each pack does not guarantee a rare, let alone a foil. Um, so yes, sports and more. Very, very reliable. Very good. Um, they kind of have like flash sales, which is kind of like, oh, you can buy it, pre-order it for a very good price. Uh, but they almost always sell out. So just in case you're not aware. Robbing Zombie. Is this, is this what I think it is? If another monster flex battle damage, send top card. Um... No, I think there was an even better one uh, in like Metal Raiders it's called like Robin Goblin or something like that. Where if you do damage, I think you made a discard of a card from your hand, which was insane. You kind of compare that. I think I think that's what the card did, and it was pretty interesting. You could combine that with like uh, the things that can always attack directly, and it's pretty really powerful. All right, we got another Robin Zombie, X Raider, classic 1700, I think. Yep, and then Magical Undertaker. Not familiar with this card. Flip, you can target one level four months or lower ones in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Huh, that's that's not bad. And then big wave, small wave. Not familiar with that. Destroy all face of water monsters. What? Ooh, wow. Okay, so I wonder if this could ha opens up. I'm not familiar with all the water types, but just like destroy all the waters. Just destroy your own and that's fine, but then you play some really big ones as, a, as opposed to like having to tribute summon them. That's a pretty interesting card. I, I feel like the speed duel, I wonder if they wanted to reset kind of like the mechanics uh, where things are just kind, kind of like in a way out of hand in the normal speed duel, in the normal uh, traditional Yu-Gi-Oh. 
This was always a cool card. Uh, if you play Umi, um, or Legendary C, I think it's called, this guy becomes no tribute, he gets like 2250, and he can't be targeted and stuff like that. Alright. Yeah, hopefully, I, I'm hoping that this set starts to raise the... Man, I feel like a lot of times the last card from our last pack is the first card in the next pack. Let's see if that continues. Alright, we have Legendary Swordsman. Legendary Fisherman. <laughs> Sonic Duck, here's a familiar 1700 again. Mask of the Accursed, this is a classic card. Basically, it kind of like takes your opponent's creature out of out of the game and inflicts 500 damage to the controller. Uh, and your opponent is basically left to tribute it. And here, is this a, ooh, this is an ultra rare. Sonic Bird, I think this tutors up something up. When this card normally flips something, add one ritual spell. Nice. There's a couple of cards. I think uh, something of Senju a Thousand Hands is like the ritual part. Uh, so there we go. We have a ultra rare. Um... Yeah, very happy with that. And I feel like it's it's crazy. Like they, um, I don't know, maybe like 15 years later, they like reprint the cards as the same exact card for a different game. And but you can only you in order to play this new game, you have to use these new cards. It's interesting concept, kind of. If Speed Duel becomes successful, it's pretty sneaky on Konami, pretty ingenious to if they manage to get this to work. Uh, but I think because of that, there will always be like a ceiling as far as how expensive these cards will get. Although maybe that's also actually depends. Maybe that's a good thing. So that there is a way to play Yu-Gi-Oh for very cheap. You know, you don't have to worry about pulling all these expensive cards. All right, here we go. We have a skill card. How do I explain skill cards if you're not already familiar? Essentially. Uh, okay, so last time we pulled Slushy, and this time Slushy is the second card. Maybe the set is just really small. Um, Alright, we're at Robin Zombie, and then, ooh, Mystic Depth. So essentially, when you start the duel, you have a character card, and there's like multiple, let's say there's like three different Mako Tsunami cards, uh, and this card stays face down, and I think you can basically flip this over at any part. It's time to duel, place this card in your field zone. Oh, and flip it over. Okay, so this one it sounds like it happens right away. All Fish, Sea Serpent, Thunder, and Awkward Field. Gain 200 attack defense, all machine power. Okay, so this guy just starts with a field card. Uh, but some of them, I, my, the way I understand it, is you can basically activate it at any point. So it's kind of like, uh, at one point Yu-Gi-Oh kind of had like, you chose like your, your a creature for your character card, and then you could kind of activate its effect. I feel like it's very similar to that, but it's not necessarily a creature. Actually, more than often than not, it's not a creature. I'm not even sure if there are creature ones. Actually, no, I think there are some creature ones. All right, let's see. Moray of Greed. What the? Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into your deck, then draw three cards. Interesting. Ah, so much for, like water support. Well, I guess, you know, this is Mako. Although, I'm guessing there's like Kaiba stuff. I want, I want some Kaiba stuff. Kaiba's probably my favorite character. All right, Mystical Elf. You know, pulling so many dupes. Sets are so small. Magical Undertaker, Fishborg, Planter. All right, so we do have a water fish. Once while this card's in your graveyard, you can send the top card of your deck into your graveyard. Then if it is a water monster, special summon this card for your graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. Interesting. I'm not sure if there was a way you can kind of know that the top of your card, you know, kind of like a scry, magic kind of scry thing. Um... Here's a Fishbergen, Water Hazard. Infinite Spell Trap once per turn, you can special summon one level four or lower at water monster from your hand. You must you must control no monsters. That's a pretty good card. Great white. Four star. And then an Umi, there we go. Oh, I think I wonder if they made Legendary C. Because uh Legendary C was really important because it acted as Umi and it made all your your monsters cost less. So like the that legendary fisherman, instead of being five star, it was four star, which means it didn't require tribute. Oh, that was a very a lot of water cards. And then Theban, Theban Nightmare, gain 1500 attack while there are no cards in your hand to nor in your spell trap zone. That's pretty strong, but having no cards in your hand or no cards on the field, <laughs> it's not too attract, not a very attractive idea. Playing on top of the deck, and then if there's some kind of removal, and then you're really in a bad spot. 
but interesting card. There he is again. Man, I feel like we keep getting, like, it comes in waves. Like, oh, here's here's that card. Then you pull multiple. Sinister Serpent. It looks like Serpent Geh. During your standby phase, uh, this card is in your graveyard. You can add it to your hand. Also, banish Sinister Serpent from your graveyard during your opponent's next end phase. You can only use this effect Sinister Serpent once per turn. Pretty cool. Goblin Zombie. <laughs> this we pulled from Crimson Crisis as a... Um, promo card. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the field to the graveyard, add one zombie monster of 1200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. That's a pretty cool thing. I think zombies was like, um, there was like skeleton archetype last time. There was like, Yugi had his jack, queen, king kind of thing. X-Raider. Is this? Yep, plus 300. Sinister Serpent again, zombie, and Lost Blue Breaker. If there's another face-up fisherman, fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster on the field, you can tribute this card, then target one spell trap card. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we just pulled Lost Blue Breaker for the first time. I'm calling it. There's gonna be a Lost Blue Breaker right here. Let's see. Let's see if we can let's see if we can call it. Come on. Lost Blue Breaker! Oh! <laughs> Guys, there's a there's a definite pattern here. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Ooh, apprentice magician. We have a super rare. Is this kind of like the mythical match? Something where you there's a flip card that you when you flip it you add a spell card to your hand from your graveyard. I think this is very similar. If this card is special, some nope. Face up from the field, you can target once. Place a spell counter. Uh, you can place a spell counter on. Place one spell counter on that target. What? If yeah, this card is special summon. <laughs> oh, target one face up card on the field that you can place a spell counter. Alright. <laughs> place one spell counter on the target. If this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one level level two or lower spell cast amounts for your deck in face down position. Oh, okay. So I feel like this is supposed to draw that card out. That charge counter was very confusing though. But another foil. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so the foils definitely can't be on the top, so I guess we can't predict it, but man, there is a definite pattern going on, and I guess it's okay for like the commons, it's like, uh, who cares? I mean, we all basically have every card. Arcane Barrier, that's a new one. Each time a face-up monster, a face-up spellcaster on the um, monster on the field is destroyed, place one spell counter on this card, okay, Apprentice Magician can work with that. Uh, max four, you can send this card and one face of spellcaster you control to the graveyard. Draw one card for each spell counter. Mm. Okay. Ooh, here is another ultra. Ooh, okay. Here's another ultra. I saw that the camera just kind of went out. Uh, Levia Dragon Gedalus. Uh, let's see. How many stars is that? Seven? So that's, I think it's still five, six. Uh, seven, I think, is two. Um, you can send one face up Umi, you control the graveyard, destroy all other cards on the field. That's pretty cool. Alright, we got two Ultras. This is a good opening. Alright, so I don't think you can call it, but alright, we're calling Arcane Barrier right here. Ready? One, two, three, boom. <laughs> it worked again. Oh my gosh, these patterns are. That's, that's really, really weird. Alright, Ima Guruka. What? If this, if you can, uh, if this card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Then, if it's water monster, draw one card. Eh. Sword of Dark Destruction. Equip a dark monster, gains on from loses. That's a very, it's like a Legend of Blue Eyes card. All right, Sword of Dark Destruction coming right up. Let's see. Calling it. Ready? Ready for this? One, two, three, boom. No, oh, it didn't work that time. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there it was. It was just the wrong order. Amazonist Trainee. If we had one more pack, the first card would be Amazonist Trainee. Uh, in our next video, when we open up the rest of this box, first card, it's going to be Amazonist Trainee. Calling it. Uh, monsters destroyed by battle with this card are returned to the bottom of the deck instead of to the going to the graveyard. Hmm. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it gains 200 attack. That's kind of weird. Not sure how, why that would be good. But let's do a quick recap. So, pretty happy with this. 
Uh, let's see. We got Dust Tornado. I think this is going to be our biggest hit. We did get one character card uh, for is it Mako? Mako Tsunami. Uh, Mystic Depths. Mythic Depths, which is basically just Umi. Uh, we did hit two Ultras in Sonic Bird. And then Levia Garden. Guardian. And then Apprentice Magician. So, not bad of an opening. Um... And uh, yeah, shout out to Sports Some More getting us this stuff really early. Uh, link to their eBay store down below. Click that link. It doesn't matter if it's Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Vanguard. Um, they sell it and most likely they have very good flash sales as pre-orders. You kind of just have to keep an eye out for that. Um, but that's highly recommend it. Uh, so that's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.